Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another one of our uh, Travel Mall uh, broadcasts. I always keep on calling it podcasts, but it's not. It's a broadcast because we're filming this. And as always, I'm very delighted, and I'm even more delighted to have one of my very good friends from the travel industry this morning at the other end of this Ethernet, uh, Internet, World Wide Web line doing a Zoom interview. And that's my very good friend, Lorraine Barnes-Burton. Uh, and good morning, Lorraine. Morning, Graham. How you doing? Not too bad. As most of you will recognise Lorraine, she is the queen of the British Travel Awards. She's been running that since its inception. And you would have seen her in a glamorous gowns, ordering everybody around. You wouldn't have seen behind the scenes when she tells people like me off for being mm -hmm. late or having too much to drink. But she is the boss. But she's also a very key member of a team that have launched a very, very exciting travel show, a new one. And uh, she's here to tell us about it. One of them is called the Grown Up Travel Show and the other one is the Wildlife and Adventure Show, I think. But correct me if I'm wrong, Lorraine, and tell me a bit about it. Well, first of all, Graham, you're wrong. It's the Wildlife and Safari Travel Show. Ah. <laughs> Um, and the other one is the Grown Up Travel Show, um, and that's the new one. We've done the Wildlife and Safari Show in 2018 and 2019, and they were very successful. Um, based in Harrogate, um, which is fabulous. It's a nice affluent area. It's within the Northern Golden Triangle, mature money. Uh, so people can, there, you know, uh, the target audience can afford that kind of bucket list wildlife and safari travel type holiday. The Grown Up Travel Show, we were going to do as a standalone show, also in Harrogate, simply based on the fact that it is the mature money um, in that area, uh, with great links from uh, London and, in fact, all around the country to York and to Leeds, um, bringing them into Harrogate. Um, but things being as they are um, at the moment, we thought that might be a bit ambitious. So what we've done is we've decided to run the Wildlife and Safari Travel Show with the Grown Up Travel Show in two separate halls at Harrogate on the 9th and 10th of October. Um, we're going to market both the shows separately, even though the audience is a good crossover. Um, but And you buy a ticket to one show and you, you'd, uh, you get access to both shows, obviously. Um, and we've got some great PR lined up. We've got, we're using a local firm, Cicada PR, who've been in Harrogate for 35 years. And based on what they got for us last time we used them, it's uh, local regional TV, um, practically every week, a splash, something in the Yorkshire Post, Stray FM, the regional news, uh, the regional, sorry, the regional radio uh, station, and also Boom Radio, which is baby boomers. It's for the over 50s, I think. So it's our target audience, really, for bringing people to the show. We need more exhibitors. So that's okay. where we are at the moment. So you've got exhibitors, um, presumably, you know, they're slightly different. I can understand the wildlife uh, aspect of it. Um, safari, they would be adventure companies, lots around the world. It doesn't just have to be lions and tigers. Hmm. Well, tigers would be nice, but, um, you know, uh, there's lots of those around. But the grown up show, what is that? Uh, ask me, uh, tell me what sort of uh, exhibitors you have well, and the ones yeah. you're looking for. Okay, so um, essentially the Grown Up Travel Show is for people who want to travel without kids or want to go on a holiday where they're not going to be sharing the pool with a load of kids, but don't want to just be restricted to going on holiday outside of the main school holidays. Um, I know my kids are grown up now and um, it might sound a bit churlish, but if I'm sat by the pool, I do not want to be sat next to a load of other people's kids having spent my hard earned money. And, just talking to people and seeing the age group um, and talking to the people that came to the Wildlife and Safari show, that was something that they wanted. So they wanted, they've got money to spend, they, they're time rich as well. Um, and they want to have some new experiences. I think, you know, when I was growing up, 50 was old. Uh, 50 is still young now and going on and people travel well into their 70s, even 80s, I suppose. Um, and so we want to bring exhibitors who can talk to this mature audience, reassure them that everything's going to be fine when they go away, particularly given what we've just been through, um, and help them have these experiences um, as grown-ups that they might have missed out on whilst bringing up their families. Fair enough. And 
wildlife safari in this post-pandemic world that we're emerging into that would appear to be what a lot of people want they want open spaces they have a great awareness of the importance of wildlife and the environment generally um, what sort of exhibitors again what sort of exhibitors do you have it's fairly obvious what exhibitors you would like to have there but what ones do you have already okay so we've got um some of the obvious type uh just by their name it will tell you what they do so ranger safaris aurora expeditions um south africa safaris uh, but we've also got um her to gruten have come in because they um obviously run polar expedition cruising and in fact they exhibited with us in 2019 and a lot of the people that came for the wildlife and safari travel show were coming to book a wildlife and safari holiday but when they got there they were saying oh I hadn't realized that I could do an aquatic wildlife if you like or an ocean wildlife um, so they did really well and in fact um, so we had Herty Gruten um, and we also had Silver Sea that year um, and I think that's really good that people are, when they come to this show, they're finding out that there's different types of wildlife and safari holidays that they can go on and not just, as you say, the traditional lions, tigers and bears, you know. Yeah. And just to be clear, I mean, it's in October. Um, hopefully by then, certainly here in the UK, we'll be free of, of any restrictions as far as COVID is concerned. Um, is it going to be a, a purely face-to-face -face, uh, event or will it be a hybrid event or have you not made your mind up yet? Um, we haven't quite made our mind up. Um, it will actually depend on the number of exhibitors that we get. Um, you know, and there's no two ways, uh, uh, you know, there's no, no point beating around the bush. Um, we need more exhibitors to be able to put this show on. We're, we're coming up to a point where we have to confirm to the venue that um, that we're going to be putting the show on physically this year. But the interest is there, we've noticed, from exhibitors, uh, potential exhibitors, but obviously people are hanging about waiting to see what happens. So um, because it's such a good idea and the consumers want it, based on our surveys, we will potentially look at doing a hybrid event. And if, if all else fails, then, then it will be an online event because people do want these types of holidays. But importantly, they want to speak to somehow face to face, whether it's online face to face or whether it's physical face to face, spending a lot of money on a wildlife or safari holiday and even some of these fantastic experiences that the grown up travel show is going to provide for um, for the consumer visitors. They want to make sure that their money is safe. They want to talk about uh, what, what will happen on their holiday to the experts, to the people that know. Yeah, you need to you need reassurance on a holiday like that, particularly if you've never done one before. It's it's, it's unlikely. It's not the sort of holiday you're going to book on your, on your phone down the pub. Um, so I can understand completely why you would need face to face, as you say, be it physical, be it, uh, or be it virtual. And Harrogate, of course, is a lovely place to go to anyway. Yeah, definitely it is. And Betty's tea rooms are still going. So yes, fat rascals, and that's not me. Um, <laughs> So good. So repeat the, the uh, if people want more information, the dates is October the 8th to 10th, did you say? 9th and 10th, October 9th and 10th. 9th and 10th. Uh, you can email me at Lorraine at convergeexhibitions.com um, or go to the websites and have a look. So it's the grown up travel show.com and the wildlife safari show.com. Um, but drop me an email um, and I will send you all the details, floor plan, entry prices for exhibitors. Um, all the information that you need really but but we'd like to put you in front of this discerning audience that we know are just waiting to meet you and in Harrogate. Marvellous. Lorraine I wish you the very best of luck and thank you for your time. Thank you so much Mac. See you later. See ya. Bye.